Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on creating a web hyperlink. So we're all used to, when we're on the internet, seeing type that is underlined, and we know that we can click on it, and it's going to take us to another web page. Right. Now maybe you want to create some text like that yourself. So today we're going to show you how to create what's called a hyperlink. All right. And we are, today we are in on a Mac, and we are in the mail program. I'm going to show you first how to do it there. Mm -hmm. So let's see, we have our text typed in, visit us at Sync Sisters. Right. And do you want to put the ugly URL right behind there? No, we don't. No. We want to look tech savvy and have a cute saying, just Sync Sisters. Right. So what you do to create your hyperlink is you select the text that you want to be the active text when someone can click on it. Okay. And you can select as much text as you want. Mm -hmm. So I've got that done. Then I'm going to come up here to the edit menu and I'm going to do add link. And then this is where you type in your URL. And you may have had that in the clipboard already, and you can just paste it in here. Right. Um, and again, we're on a Mac, and we're using Mail um, in the OS, Sierra OS. Right. But it's been this way for... Been this way for... A long time. A long time, so... <laughs> right. Okay, so now you can see, voila, it's blue underlined type that we're all used to seeing. We know we can click on it and go somewhere. Excellent. Now, how do we know we did it right? How can we test it right. before we send it off? To that important person. We want to make sure that's the right link. Now, what you want to do to test it is you want to get your cursor out of the text field. So I just went up here and clicked. So to a different field, right? right. Okay. So now you can see when I roll over that text... I get that iconic little pointing hand. That's the pointing glove, the gloved finger. So I can test the link. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click. Oh, and it went right to Sync Sisters' website. That's great. So as we were saying, today we are in the mail program. Um, but you can do this in so many programs. Right. You can do it in Word and Excel and pages. OneNote and Pages. Yeah. Most yeah. any program. And um, all you need to do is go, you know, go up to the menu um, and look, look for around. some. This is called edit link in the mail program. Sometimes it's called insert link. Sometimes it's add. called hyperlink. Right. And I think this says edit link now because we're over it because it said right. add link when we were adding it. That's right. Right. And it might be under the edit menu. It might be under an insert menu. Right. So look around. You can use it anywhere. Right. I mean, most programs, so many programs have it now. That's right. Um, and this is great to show now that it says edit link. Right. If I click on that, um, maybe the link I typed in was wrong. Right. <laughs> so I could go in here and change it and edit it, edit it make it the right link. Right. Or um, maybe I've decided um, I don't want this text selected. I want different text selected. Right. Here I can, or I don't want it to be linked link anymore. We can remove right it. here, I can remove it. And there it goes. So voila, you can go ahead and create your own clickable hyperlinks. Thanks for learning with Sync Sisters. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.